Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Oggy and the Cockroaches house from the show Oggy and the Cockroaches. If you have a suggestion on what I should make next, please let me know down there in the comment section. Whether it is a cartoon build, video game build, movie build, city build, let me know. I would love to see what you guys want to see. Whilst this house looks more accurate built out of birch, I think it looks better built out of smooth quartz, so that is an option for you as well. Feel free to compare these two, see which one you like more, and change the materials accordingly. Consider becoming a channel member today and you will gain access to a cool avatar next to your name, some unique emojis, and access to my mini city design world containing every single build that has been added to mini city to date. This is well over a hundred builds, all chronologically ordered. Java edition only. This is the amount of space required to make Oki and the Cockroaches house. Here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Begin by placing five birch planks on top of each other. One, two, three, four, five. Extend to the right by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Connect all the way down to the ground. Extend right by one and then forwards by two. One, two. Extend to the right by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then up by four. One, two, three, four. Right by four. One, two, three, four. And then extend all the way down. We then want to extend to the right by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We then want to extend back by two. One, two. And then right by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We then want to extend back by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we want to extend inwards by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then back by two. One, two. And then extend right by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Up by five. One, two, three, four, five. We then want to extend to the right by ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Extend all the way down. Then extend right one. And then in by two. One, two. We then want to extend all the way over to the right and join all the way back to the beginning. Come back to where we first started and add a row of birch planks along the inside of the left and right of this big empty space. We then want to add a row of cyan concrete inside and in between the birch planks. Then place a row of cyan concrete all the way along the inside of all of that space. Add a vertical split in the middle of this shape and then light blue concrete either side just like so. We also want to add a row of birch slabs all the way around the top of this shape. It would probably be a good idea for us to fill the entire left side of this shape in using birch planks, but there is a little bit more. On the back part here, there is a small window. The way that we make this is by placing a birch plank here with two birch slabs left of this, Behind these slabs place cyan concrete with two rows of black stained glass on top. We then want to fill around this window in using birch planks and then we can just continue to fill the remaining part of this wall in using birch planks. We can also just extend towards this area a little bit and then we can just continue to add the slabs around the top here. In addition to this, we want to add a birch plank here and here. And then we want to add iron bars in between these birch planks. And these will extend and connect to the main part of the house. So if you like, you can also just extend up these rows. At the very least, high enough that they will connect to the birch planks like this. 
We also have to fill the top of this shape in using birch planks as well. So it should be noted that this is a balcony slash garage and it is a lower level than the rest of the house. So that is why we aren't extending all the way across. This is kind of just a part of the build all onto itself. Next, we are going to place six birch planks on top of this birch plank block. One, two, three, four, five, six. This row of six wants to extend all the way over to the right side of the build, down to this corner, and then back and down all the way across. We want to join here. We also want to extend towards the back of the build like this and join down to any corners that we find. So we are following the shape of the house all the way along and we want to extend all the way over to the right side here and then ultimately we just want to connect onto the top of the garage like this. So the purpose of doing this is now we have big open walls for our house that are now very easy to fill in. Step one, we are going to make the entrance. So the entrance sits inside of this big empty space. Let's begin by placing a row of cyan concrete here, connecting both sides together just behind. Then a warped door on the central block and place cyan concrete surrounding the door. We then want to place birch planks in front of the door. We then want to extend the planks outwards. We are then going to add a row of birch stairs around this with a row of slabs around the stairs, just like so. And we may have to convert these corner blocks here into planks, there we are, because then we want to place one, two, three, one, two, three birch fence on top of these plank blocks. We can then place a blue terracotta on top of these and connect them back to the house, just like so. We can then place a row of birch planks in between the terracotta, and then another layer of terracotta on top, inwards and upwards, another layer of planks in between them, and a final row of terracotta just joining together like this. Aside the door here, we want to add a bell and that pretty much covers the entrance. So left of the entrance is a window. We make the window by placing a birch plank here and two birch slabs right of it. Behind the slabs, we place cyan concrete with two rows of black stained glass on top. We are then going to surround the window with birch planks. However, we are going to leave these top two blocks exposed. If you like, you can actually just place cyan concrete here, but it's a little bit more complicated th than this, and we will get to this later. Now, on the right side of the door, we want to place a birch plank here, and then four slabs, one, two, three, four, extending to the left, with cyan concrete behind the slabs. Two rows of glass on top of the concrete, and then cyan concrete on top of the glass. We then want to fill around the window in with birch planks. So as long as we can see these cyan concrete blocks, that is good. On the right side here, and also as we work our way around, fill in any gaps in the walls that you may see. On the right side here, we want to place a birch plank, four slabs left, one, two, three, four, and I think you guys might know the drill from here. We place a row of cyan concrete behind, with two rows of glass on top, a row of cyan concrete on top of that, and then we want to surround the window with birch planks, just like this. We are then going to move on to the side where we will do a similar thing. So let's add a row of birch planks on the left and right side of this row with birch slabs connecting both sides together, cyan concrete, two rows of, birch, of black stained glass on top, cyan concrete on top of that and then we can just fill above this in with birch planks. We want the exact same window on the back as well so on the back of the build here we are going to place well we'll start off just by placing a row of birch planks here on the left one two three four uh, slabs 
then cyan concrete behind, two rows of glass on top, cyan concrete on top of that, then birch planks all the way around this, leading all the way down, and that will give us this. We are then just going to fill this little wall in here, and this is where things start to deviate a bit. We do have another window to make, but it's smaller. We want to place two planks, one, two, one, two, extending in from both sides here, birch slabs in between, cyan concrete, two rows of glass, cyan concrete, you guys know the drill. We then want to fill the remaining area around this in using birch planks, just like this. So a little bit smaller than on the front. And we also want to add a giant door window thing. It's kind of difficult to explain, but it, it kind of looks like a garage door. But anyway, we are going to, I guess it's just this massive open space here. We want to place a row of cyan concrete in between and behind the two sides of the house. We then want to extend the cyan concrete all the way up to the top, and we want to create a rectangular shape like this. We then want to turn the rectangular shape into a grid, kind of like a waffle, like this. We can then fill the insides of the waffle in with black stained glass. But it is a little bit more interesting than this. We want to place a birch plank in the corners of this and extend the planks outwards, then add a slab on the lower part of the outer parts of the planks. We then want to add slabs inside here, and we want to connect them together across the top. It's difficult to describe the shape that we've made, but it looks like a small arch, or kind of like a bridge, across the top of this particular part of the build. It looks really good. Next, we are going to place a row of blue terracotta along the top of the main part of the house. We also want to place another row of blue terracotta above and behind this, and then we are going to extend the blue terracotta to the right by one. Then we want to place two birch planks to the right, one, two, and then five birch slabs, one, two, three, four, five, two birch planks to the right, one, two, and then the rest of this can just be blue terracotta. We then want to place cyan concrete behind our birch slabs, then two rows of black glass on top of the cyan concrete, and then a row of cyan concrete on top of the glass. We can then just extend these planks up on the left and right to equal the height of this, and then we actually just want to extend across the top, just like this. So this is roughly the shape that we're looking for. It's a little bit more complicated than this, as we will add a row of smooth stone slabs across the top of this. We also want to extend it outwards like this, and we want to give it a proper roof eventually, but I think that we are just going to leave it like roughly like this for the time being. So now that we have done this on the front, we are going to come over to the back and we actually want to do the exact same thing. So we want to place a row of blue terracotta along the main back part of the house. And then over here on the right, we want to add a row of blue terracotta above and behind. Extend inwards by one. Place two birch planks and then five slabs, one, two, three, four, five. Two more planks, one, two. And then we place cyan concrete behind the slabs. Then two rows of black stained glass on top. Cyan concrete on top of that. Then we are going to build up the planks and extend up and over across the top of the window. Then add a row of smooth stone slabs along the top of this and extend them out on the left and right sides like this. We are then able to add blue terracotta above and behind this. And these also want to just overhang by one. On this side of the house, specifically, we can just completely fill this in. It is actually a little bit more complicated, but we'll build it into it. Uh, we can just kind of just fill all of this in with birch planks like this. And then we slowly want to add rows of blue terracotta, like extending upwards and inwards diagonally until we eventually have this. And this is gonna be the roof shape 
and we are also going to add a window as we're here, just here. So it's one row away from the top, it's a little two by two square, and we want to add black glass like this. We want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side, I don't think anything will get in the way here, so I think it would just be easier to just completely seal up this side of the build, just like this. And then we can add the rows of blue terracotta just extending in. It's actually, it, it'll be easier to place all the planks first, actually. And then add the blue terracotta after. Have it overhang. Have the same 2x2 two two window, just one row away from the top. And now we may as well, as we've made most of this, connect the blue terracotta together. So, left to right, all the way up to the top, all the way back down to the opposite side we add all of our blue terracotta. On the front part of the house, there is also a chimney. The chimney is positioned here. We place two stone brick wall on top of each other, extend right by two, up by one, and place a hopper on top of that. It's quite easy to see where it all lines up with the window and what part of the roof it's on if we take a little look away like this. There we go. We are also going to finish this small part of roof on the garage side of the house. So we want to extend the blue terracotta just all the way up, connect together just like that at the top. And the terracotta also just wants to overextend just one row like this. And just on the side here, we will have a couple of warped doors and we will have a above the doors. So this is kind of hard to place. So above the doors, we want to have a red and a pink and then red concrete. Then we can just fill underneath the roof line in with birch planks. Although there is a small window at the top here, we want to remove a two by two square and place a layer of black stained glass that you can see kind of just mirrors that side of the house. It's all quite nice and uniform now that we look at it like this. Moving over onto this side of the house, we want to once again finish the roof by placing vertical rows of blue terracotta like this. It's the same as what we've just done on that opposite side. So we then want to extend the blue terracotta all the way out and it just wants to line up with the pre-existing rows of blue terracotta that we placed. So here and here. We are then going to have the terracottas just hang one row over just like this and we want to fill underneath the roof in with birch planks. Just like that, that's perfect. We also want to add a different style of roof to this part of the house. So on top of the birch planks, we are going to add this shape of blue terracotta. And we are then just going to add rows and rows of blue terracotta that just sit inside this, connecting all the way back to the house like so, in kind of like horseshoe shape patterns like this. So eventually it will get to the point where you can only just place two at the top like this. And there we go, that, that looks pretty good. Next, we are going to add a layer of upside down birch stairs around the top of the house. It starts here at the edge of the garage roof, it just wants to overhang the side of the house by one. And then it wants to travel all the way around the house and end in the equivalent position on the back of the build, which will be... Right here, so underneath the overhanging part of the roof, like that. We also want to add light grey carpet on top of this. Wherever possible. Next, we are going to add coloured concretes to the tops of the windows, and they are in a particular pattern. So, let's start with this large window up at the top front of the build. We place a 
purple concrete here, next to it a yellow, green concrete, pink, and then red, just like this. Come to the smaller window here, we want to begin by placing a red, next to it light blue. Moving along here, orange, purple, yellow, green, here, pink, and then red, light blue, and then orange concrete. On the side here, red, uh, light blue, orange, purple. Along the back of the build, we will once again have red, light blue, orange, purple. The small window, yellow, green. We don't have any colors above that window, so coming up to the large window, we want to place red, light blue, orange, purple, yellow, just like this. And what we then want to do is add string in front of all of these. So I, I actually do think that this may be unnecessary, but it's up to you. We are going to, once we've added all of this string all over the place, We then want to add the corresponding carpet color in front of the concrete. So whatever color concrete that you have placed, simply match up the carpet. I do kind of feel as though this might not be necessary, but that's that's up for you to do. Up to the what? What? Up for you to decide. That does not. That's for you to decide. Wow. Next, we want to remove two rows of grass directly in front of the entrance and then extend all the way over to the right side of the build where we want to remove an additional two rows and all the way over to the left side of the build where we also want to remove an additional two rows. We then want to extend all the way to the back of the build and two rows beyond the back of the build, we want to remove two rows of grass. We then simply want to remove all of the grass that is left inside of the area that we have dug out. We also want to remove the three rows that line up with the stairs slash the entrance. We want to remove these three rows and lead all the way to the edge of the grid. And at the edge of the grid, we also want to remove two entire rows just extending right and left. We then want to fill all of this in using terracotta.
Next, we are going to place rows of birch planks in particular places. Two here, two here, two here, two here, two here, and two here. We then want to connect the birch planks together using spruce leaves. One last decision to make ladies and gentlemen, you may or may not choose to replace the grass block with lime terracotta. I happen to think that lime terracotta makes better grass than grass, but you may have a differing opinion. So it's up to you. I think that lime terracotta looks better. You may choose to leave the grass. Either way, with that final detail added, we have officially completed this tutorial. However, this video is not over. We must now add our house into our city. For the time being, Oggy and the Cockroach's house is going to get stored at the edge of our city. We will eventually use it to make a suburbs, but that time is not yet. And that's it. I do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell next to the subscription button to make sure that you get all of my videos sent directly to your sub box. And if you want to make anything else by me, look no further than the mini city builds playlist down below in the description or to some of the suggested videos underneath slash to the right of this one, check out the channel directly, or hopefully YouTube, the next upcoming video is one of mine. YouTube, I'm looking at you. Consider becoming a channel member today and you will gain access to a cool avatar next to your name, some unique emojis, and access to my mini city design world containing every single build that has been added to mini city to date. This is well over a hundred builds, all chronologically ordered. Java edition only. Thank you so much for watching everybody, I hope to see you in the next one, goodbye!